What's up, people? Let's uh, let's discuss some results for the last uh, two weeks, I think. And if you look at my account there, I think it looks kind of it looks kind of low, but I'm telling you, it's not. And uh, you're gonna see the secret. Well, the the big uh, the big news that we're waiting for is on is happening on 22nd of May. So we have Nvidia's first quarter revenue uh, details, and they will let us know how much money they managed to get from us. I want to remember everyone that this is a gaming channel, and I actually have everything. All my GPUs are from Nvidia, and they are top of the line. And we are using right now a 4090, and I have a 3090 in the box and a 20, 2090, uh, 2080 Ti as well, uh, somewhere around here. Uh, behind me, uh, but anyway, we're doing something else now. So my main focus, main focus, uh, in uh, like two weeks ago was Intel, and Intel managed to um, to give me a quite nice profit. I have the screenshots here. So I bought 351 shares, 352 almost, at 31.08 per share. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Intel. Intel has probably is the company who invested the most in semiconductors and, and foundries, you know, to build chips, to build chips not only for themselves, but for bigger company, uh, not, yeah, bigger companies like Nvidia, like um, uh, this kind of, like uh, they are trying, they are trying to go against TS, uh, TSMC, uh, Taiwan Semiconductors and Micron and this and this kind of places um, so they are trying to do that and they are investing I think the most the most so these are the these are the companies they are going against Taiwan Semiconductors and uh, Micron and if they manage to pull it out and all the foundries will go online somewhere in 2025 like late 2025 then this price per share like a 30 something uh, 30 something dollars i'm telling you it's a bargain for everyone who wants to invest like long term buy intel buy intel because the price is absolutely amazing and you know with this share you can use it as a speculative share as well like i did so i started with uh, i started with 350 in a few days, I got to 91, which is a hundred something dollars, um, and I've ended up with uh, overall Intel final profits somewhere around 200 pounds, which is like 250 dollars. Not bad at all. And I cashed out, uh, and yeah, it it went up to if you see. So the buy-in was 31.8, and I cashed out to 32 dollars. That's all. That's all you need to have is patience. So I had the patience, and my account was looking like pretty much like that. It was a little bit higher. I touched nine k, but then, um, so after this one, I I think I went back in Tesla and did another uh, fifty some uh, hundred and something pounds in Tesla, uh, which was okay. Um, and then I bought uh, Nvidia, and I bought Nvidia at quite quite high price, nine hundred and forty-two dollars per share, and it's like around eleven point eight shares, I think. And in the first, uh, in like next day, right there in the in the morning, <laughs> we were already in the green because Nvidia touched somewhere like forty-five dollar, uh, nine hundred and forty-five dollars and then it just dropped like a brick and now that's why now we are in minus but in minus not not that much uh 185 like 200 dollars but big news are coming from nvidia this wednesday and um we're all expecting for this stock to break a thousand dollars and go to the moon like the thing that we are saying for for mr mr elon musk so if you have any money to invest this this is a good very good price to to buy nvidia i would say i would love to buy a few more shares if i would have more money um 
even at this price this this price is much better than the price that I that I went all in um, and so overall account profits this is another thing I want to show oh no this is not the one oh this this was the yeah this is the other um, Tesla gain that I had just a quick one I bought a $172 I went out I got out at 176 made a hundred and seven two hundred two hundred dollars profit in like no time it was a two hour things two hour thing that 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 was it um and it was it was very very good very inspired uh, very inspired move um overall profit where was it i can show it so overall account now this is not i can show you in my account actually uh, video is history process settings I have no idea how to do that how did I got into the video price of history settings no it has to be something with uh, managed funds payment manager deposit withdrawal no 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 and no this is the amounts that I've uh, that I withdraw. So you can see, look, I have over 500 quid withdraw. That's why um, it might think you are your minus, but you actually not because I took some money out from there. I should have touched like 9.5k long time, 9.7k long time ago. Uh, where is the like history? Ah, interest transaction. No, or this. So yeah, there you go. Realized profits lost 1,782. So this is, these are my overall profits for the last three months. I'm telling you something with, with this, you know, with, with trading so far. Betting experience that I have helped me a lot. And I only, I only invest in companies that I know, that I love, that I support and i get myself informed i keep myself i keep myself informed and you don't need any classes you don't need any courses you don't need any people you know who tell you how to read the charts and this kind of stuff no all you need is information yeah think about it think about all the people who got busted and they ended up in jail because they were like inside traders those people had no idea how to read the chart or this kind of stuff. But what did they had? They had the information from inside the companies. They knew what was next to happen, and this. So it, even with with um, with the small kind of information that we can get our hands on, you can understand that you know what this company is going to be a good a good week for this company because this is next to happen for them so you have to be patient a little bit that's the one and i'm telling you something i, I put all my money in on a stock and i don't take them out until i see those uh stocks going green so of course for the first few minutes it'll be red maybe next day is gonna be red maybe i'm gonna go down it's fine i'll leave them there i will not cash out until the stock goes up and if it's a good company, if it's a solid company, I invest only in Tesla, NVIDIA, AMD, Meta. Uh, you can see, uh, I've, it's not a secret. You know, everyone is so secretive, uh, secretive about this. These are my, so this is a safe place I called. These are the companies that I call them like safe place. Whenever I'm not decided on what to go all in, I spread my portfolio how it, you see the percentages here 10% on this 8% on this 6% on this and I spread and I buy everything like on this company and I leave it there for a week and I'm telling you I'm gonna make at least $200 profit at least from from this one semiconductors again these are all the big players in semiconductors except uh, TSMC and uh, Micron and some other from 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 us and probably some um, some other places but this is mostly mostly like europe texas instruments qualcomm from us uh, but these are big big players in semiconductors in europe and then 
I have this pod which I never used. Samsung should have been in safe place as well. Ansys was in safe place as well, but because um, the price they were quite high, and you can see how how Samsung went there, I took them out from 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 that safe place, and I've created this like under observation. This is sub obs in my language is sub observatie. And that means under observation. So I have Broadcom, Neo, BlackRock, Oracle, Solar Edge Technology, Infinity, KLA, Semiconductors, BAD, Samsung, and, and ANSYS. This, these two, Samsung and ANSYS, they will go into the safe place as soon as they drop a little bit. And I will decide to, you know, go all in when I'm not really 100% decided what to do with my uh, with my portfolio. But overall, because I'm not trying to bore anyone, overall it was a good week. Uh, we ended up doing profits, which is, I, I know, I sound like a Ferengi. <laughs> profits! <laughs> um, so we ended up doing uh, doing few few quids here and there. And now the big day is Wednesday and what's going to happen until Wednesday. And the, you know what? The good the good thing about it, I'm going to be off. So this is uh, today's Sunday. I'm, I'm going to be off until Wednesday, including Wednesday. So Thursday night, I will go to work. So probably, I mean, I hope we're going to have reasons to celebrate. Um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be huge. NVIDIA has the opportunity to uh past the three trillion uh mark as a um, as a company and i think they will manage to do it and i think they will break that one thousand dollars per per share in no time without any kind of issues so all my portfolio is sunk in in that we are a little bit on on minus because it dipped from 942 to 925 but you know what i'm confident I'm confident. You know, in the same night when I decided to go NVIDIA, uh, Thursday night, when I bought NVIDIA, I said, I'm not going to buy Tesla because I don't know if they will recover. So it was here. Uh, no, it was low. It was here. Yeah, it was here. And I said, Tesla might drop and I don't have time to recover until Wednesday when I have to put all my money on, on NVIDIA. And look what Tesla did. Look what Tesla did. I would have had plus... Uh, around 400 pounds if i would have put all my portfolio and cashed out on friday would have been a perfect fucking weekend plus in the meantime nvidia dropped so it would have been a amazing move well i didn't trust it tesla and this is the first time when i'm when i don't trust tesla but it's not gonna happen again after after the nvidia gains and i'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be some big gains in there uh i'm gonna speculate uh, on tesla again because they have they have many things on their plate as well and many good things are supposed to happen for tesla so this that's that's good so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and uh you know what um i will um i'll give you updates from time to time thank you for watching see you next time take care